Breasts? What the Bible has to say. Breasts, a Bible study by Styley W. Hayward D.D. What are breasts? The breast is one of two prominences on a human's torso's upper ventral area. It is the mammary gland in females, which produces and secretes milk to feed newborns. Breasts grow in both males and females from the same embryological tissues. Estrogens In combination with growth hormone, stimulate breast development in female humans during puberty. Why do males have nipples? Male and female embryos begin their development in the same way. With the same genetic material, shortly after fertilization. Nipples begin to form in the first four to five weeks. But it isn't until the sixth or seventh week that the sex chromosomes, XX for female and XY for male, establish any differences. As a result, most people have nipples. But why would a body go through the trouble of developing nipples if they are useless? Male nipples do, in fact, have a role, albeit one that is rarely discussed. According to one study, nipple stimulation increases sexual excitement in nearly 52% of men. As a result, the majority of males report using their nipples for arousing purposes. Male nipples, meanwhile, remain a mystery. Entering into womanhood of her breasts and womb, Ezekiel 16:7, I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field. And thou hast increased and waxen great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments, thy breasts are fashioned. And thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. The prophet has arrived at the time at which the child grew up to maturity. God preserved the life of the infant which must without his help have died Ezekiel 16:6, and the child grew up to womanhood, but was still desolate and unprotected. Albert Barnes, originally published 1832-1872. Genesis 49 verse 25. Even by the God of thy father, who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that leath under, blessings of the breasts, and of the womb. God developed a woman as she grew up with the help of God, her creator. She is a woman. A man with a womb capable of conceiving a child. A woman is born without breasts. Song of Solomon 8.8 8, We have a little sister. And she hath no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? She matures and her breasts form for the life that may come from her womb when she reaches maturity. As designed by the Creator. Her breasts may enlarge and change size as she matures. Song of Solomon 8:10. I am a wall. And my breasts like towers, then was I in his eyes as one that found favor. The bride and her breasts are fully described as towers. As she travels to meet her husband, Isaac, it is a blessing on Rebecca's breasts, its nourishment, and womb, its life. Rebecca is not only an adult, but she is also about to become a mother. By the blessing, her family says, Their children, my daughter. The aim of a woman's breasts is to provide nourishment for her children. Luke 11:27. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. Psalm 22, 9, But thou art he that took me out of the womb, thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. From Luke 11:27, we find the word paps, which is another word for breasts nipples. P-A-P-N-L, papilla. A nipple of the breast, a teat. We see Jesus, Revelation 1.13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like. Unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Revelation 1.13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the Son of Man. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His breasts are covered with a golden girdle. 
Our Lord, God, Creator, and Savior also has the disciple John lying against his breast. John 13 25 He then lying on Jesus' breast saith unto him, Lord, who is it? John 21 20 Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? John 13 23 Now, there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. The breasts of a mother are for her child to suck milk from. Job 3.12 Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breasts that I should suck? Genesis 21.7 And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham, That Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. 1 Kings 3.21 And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead, but when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. Mark 13 17, But woe to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Sucking. In any case, how can newborns suck milk out of such things? Apparently. The answer to that issue has been a source of contention for almost a century. You might believe that nursing is a very simple process. The infant clings to you and sucks like a little vacuum. Cleaner. But you'd be mistaken. Suckling biomechanics are fairly intricate. True. The newborn sucks by reducing the air pressure in its mouth. It also mouths, squeezes the nipple and areola between its gums, and performs tongue peristalsis, i.e moving its tongue in a wave-like manner. Which of these suckling systems is more responsible for obtaining milk? Is the scientific question at the center of this research? We could finally have an answer to that question. Scientists from Israel and the United States inserted an imaging device under a breastfeeding mother's chin and recorded ultrasound videos. Thankfully, the prominent publication PNAS considered this research interesting enough to publish it in its illustrious pages. We have resolved a century-long scientific controversy and demonstrated with a 3D biophysical model that infants suck breast milk by subatmospheric pressures and not by mouthing the nipple's areola complex to induce a peristaltic-like extraction mechanism the scientists declared triumphantly after analyzing the videos and running simulations on their computer model. Babies suck, in other words. Another word we come across in the Bible is sucklings. Usually refers to a range of ages or stages of development. 1 Samuel, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling. 1 Samuel 22:19, both men and women. Children and Sucklings Jeremiah 44 7, Man and Woman, Child and Suckling Lamentations 2 11, Children and the Sucklings It's worth noting that the aforementioned verses are about individuals being killed, slain, and dying. Psalm 8 2 Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings as thou ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Matthew 21 16 And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? From Psalms and Jesus, sucking is linked to babes. Suckling, n. A young child or animal nursed at the breast. Psalm.8 the Bible narrates the amazing account of Jochebed and her son Moses. Exodus 2 7 Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for thee? The three month old unnamed child was removed from his ark, Acts 7 20. Also, his sister Exodus 2 7 then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for thee? 
Exodus 2 9 And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away, and nurse it for me. And I will give thee thy wages. And the woman took the child, and nursed it. Jochebed nursed her suckling baby. Six months old, for Pharaoh's daughter, who adopted the infant and paid her as a nanny, being the mother. Nurse and Nursing Webster's 1828 Dictionary 1. A woman that has the care of infants. Or a woman employed to tend the children of others. 2. A woman who suckles infants. 3. A woman that has the care of a sick person. We will not use definition 3 in this report. But we will examine the others using the King James 1611 AV Bible. The hired nurse for children, Genesis 24 verse 59, And they sent away Rebekah their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. 2 Samuel 4 verse 4, And Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son that was lame of his feet. He was five years old when the tidings came of Saul and Jonathan out of Jezreel, and his nurse took him up and fled, and it came to pass, as she made haste to flee, that he fell, and became lame. And his name was Mephibosheth. Second Chronicles 22 verse 11 But Jehoshabeth, the daughter of the king, took Josh the son of Ahaziah, and stole him from among the king's sons that were slain, and put him and his nurse in a bedchamber. So Jehoshabeth, the daughter of King Jehoram, the wife of Jehoiada the priest, for she was the sister of Ahaziah, hid him from Athaliah, so that she slew him not. Ruth 4 verse 16 And Naomi took the child, and laid it in her bosom, and became nurse unto it. Breastfeeding is the practice of feeding an infant by the mother's breasts. 1 Samuel 1 verses 22 to 24 But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned. And then I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord, and there abide forever. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good, tarry until thou have weaned him, only the Lord. Establish his word. So the woman abode, and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bullocks, and one ephah of flour, and a bottle of wine, and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh, and the child was to wean, Webster's 1828 Dictionary 1, to accustom and reconcile, as a child or other young animal to a want or deprivation of the breast. Genesis 21 verse 8 And the child grew, and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. Ruth Lawrence has stated for many years in her book Breastfeeding, a guide for the medical profession that there is a global average breastfeeding length. She explains the average time of complete cessation of breastfeeding worldwide is 4.2 years. In the United States of America, it is said, individual. Children may nurse for 8 to 10 years in child-led weaning conditions where children are permitted to nurse as long as they want. However, the vast majority of children in child-led weaning situations discontinue breastfeeding voluntarily. Between the ages of 3 and 4. Time magazine cover story, the photo showed Jamie Lynn Gramet, 26, a stay-at-home mom in Los Angeles who says her mother breastfed her until she was six years old. She told the magazine in an interview that she's given up reasoning with strangers who see her son nursing and threaten to call social services on me or that it's child molestation. According to Ruth Lawrence, there was a time of 4.2 years, and there was when a mother breastfeeding her three-year-old kid caused uproar. Sarah and Hannah, on the other hand, share a story about weaning their sons. Hannah delivered Samuel to the Lord when he was weaned, and Abraham celebrated Isaac's weaning age. The age of the weaning is not mentioned in the Bible. 
We may fairly infer that before 1865 AD, newborns were entirely reliant on their mother's breast milk. Other dates of knowledge include the introduction of the first nursing bottle in 1841. These bottles were originally constructed of glass. The first rubber nipple was patented not long after, 1845. Justice von Liebig's soup for infants was the first baby formula to be put to the market in 1865. Cow's milk, wheat, malt flour, and potassium bicarbonate were used in Liebig's formula. Isaiah 28 verse 9 Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. According to Isaiah, the best moment for a human to learn about God is after they've been weaned. As soon as they are no longer dependent on their mother for breast milk. 1 Peter 2 verse 2 As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Hosea 1 verse 8 Now when she had weaned lo Ruhama, she conceived, and bare a son. The one main problem of the church is to get them saved, get them saved, bring them in. They get saved, born again. But no one, including myself, is put into the bosom of Christian. There is no feeding the newborn Christian by the church, this is a shame. There's nothing wrong with witnessing and preaching the gospel, what happens to the converts? Too many fall to infant formula and not to the sincere milk of the word, Jesus Christ. Breast milk, often known as mother's milk, is a type of milk produced by mammary glands in a woman's breast. Breast milk, which contains fat, protein, carbs, lactose and human milk oligosaccharides, and a variety of minerals and vitamins, is the primary source of sustenance for babies. Breast milk also contains vital substances that protect the newborn from infection and inflammation, as well as helping to the immune system and gut microbiome's healthy development. Colostrum for the first few days. Colostrum is the first milk your breasts produce after your baby is born. This thick, sticky breast milk is commonly referred to as liquid gold, not only because of its yellow or orangey color, but also because it is essential for nourishing and safeguarding your newborn. Transitional milk over the next few weeks. Breast milk changes in quantity during the first week of your baby's life. Around two to four days after delivery, your breasts may become bigger and stiffer, indicating that your milk is coming in. Your kid will eat 300 to 400 milliliters, 10.5 to 14 fluid ounces of breast milk every 24 hours on the third day and 500 to 800 milliliters, 18 to 28 fluid ounces on the fifth day. So it's understandable if your breasts seem larger. Your milk is referred to as transitional milk from day 5 to 14. It's transitioning from colostrum to mature milk, as the name implies. It gets creamier in color and texture. As well as greater in fat, calories, and lactose, a natural sugar. Making it the perfect nourishment for your rapidly growing newborn. But don't worry. It's still packed with protective antibodies, leaving cells, good bacteria, and other bioactive elements that will help her stay healthy. After four weeks, the milk is mature. Breast milk will be fully grown by the time your kid is four weeks old. It's high in protein, sugar, vitamins, and minerals, as well as a variety of bioactive components like hormones growth factors, enzymes, and live cells, all of which help your kid grow and develop normally. The nutritional composition and amounts of components in mature milk are generally stable after four weeks. Your breast milk's content, however, can vary from day to day and feed to feed. If you or your infant is sick, for example, 
your body will produce antibodies to combat the sickness, which will end up in your milk. Moreover, as your baby explores the environment and puts toys in her mouth, the number of protective bacteria-fighting enzymes in your milk increases. Breast milk composition varies, demonstrating how it responds to your baby's changing needs. What is the difference between fore milk and hind milk? Towards the end of a feed, your milk may appear thicker and creamier because of the mechanics of milk passing through the breast. The fat composition gradually increases as the feed advances. It's known as hind milk. While fore milk refers to the initial, more watery milk. These two names may lead you to believe that fore milk and hind milk are interchangeable, but this is not the case. The transformation is a gradual one. Both are high in vitamins, minerals, protein, and carbohydrates, and are necessary components of a complete meal. The fat content of your milk is related to how exhausted your breast is. Your breasts will be fuller at the beginning of some feeds, milk with less fat, and more drained at the beginning of others, milk with more fat, milk higher in fat. So don't worry about the difference between fore milk and hind milk. Throughout the course of a day, your baby will consume roughly the same amount of fat. In the law of Moses there is a restriction of mother's milk, Exodus 23 verse 19 the first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. Exodus 34 verse 26 the first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. To boil is to seethe. This characteristic is the result of a heathen rite. Some Gentiles swathe a kid in its dam's milk at the conclusion of their harvest and sprinkled that milk pottage in a magical way upon their gardens and fields to make them fertile. Israel, on the other hand, must shun such irrational practices. Isaiah 28 verse 9 Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. 1 Peter 2 verse 2 As newborn babes Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Breast milk is compared to God's word. As soon as they are weaned, Isaiah says, instruct them. Peter instructs us to long for the word as a baby longs for his mother's milk. What is the worth of a mother's milk supply? Millions of white blood cells that enhance the immune system, as well as stem cells that can help organs develop and recover, are among them. All that breast milk protein is made up of amino acids. Over 200 complex carbohydrates called oligosaccharides that serve as prebiotics in your baby's intestines, feeding healthy bacteria. They also reduce her chance of brain inflammation by preventing infections from entering her bloodstream. There are more than 40 enzymes in total. Enzymes are catalysts that help the body's chemical reactions move faster. The ones in your milk support your baby's digestion, immunological system, and iron absorption, among other things. Growth elements that are beneficial to a child's development. Many sections of your baby's body are affected, including her intestines, blood vessels, brain system, and hormone-secreting glands. When it comes to hormones, your breast milk has a lot of them. These sophisticated chemicals communicate with tissues and organs to ensure that they function appropriately. Some aid in the regulation of your baby's hunger and sleep cycles, as well as the bonding between you and your child. Vitamins and minerals are nutrients that aid in healthy growth and organ function, as well as the development of your child's teeth and bones. Antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, are proteins that bind to each other. 
Antibodies come in five different types, all of which can be present in your milk. By neutralizing germs and viruses, they protect your kid from diseases and infections. Long-chain fatty acids are important for your baby's nervous system development as well as brain and eye development. You guessed it, there are a few of them in your milk as well. 1,400 microRNAs are thought to influence gene expression, aid in illness prevention or halting. Boost your baby's immune system and have a part in breast remodeling. Breast milk and the word of God, we see, create and promote a healthy lifespan and lifestyle. It is necessary for all aspects of human life as well as Christian living. Whereas the breast milk protects mankind from sickness, the word of God also protects us against Satan, the world, and sin if we use it rightly. Breast milk and the word of God should be coupled if they are both beneficial. It aids in the development and strengthening of the body. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 2 I have fed you with milk, and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able. Hebrews 5 verse 12 For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. Milk also expresses your growth. Milk and the word is that there are growth patterns in children. Some people were critical of the mother who breastfed her son until he was three years old or even older. As a Christian's knowledge, intelligence, and understanding of the Bible, God, and Christianity grows. So does his or her faith. Virgin birth, simple salvation, the cross, and Jesus' life and ministry as described in the Gospels are all examples of breast milk in Christian infancy. Too many infant Christians desire to digest prophecies, the book of Revelation, and the tribulation, which is like to putting a three-month-old in a steakhouse and telling them to have the tastiest T-bone dish. They lack the necessary teeth and resources to deal with such a feast. There are far too many Christians sucking on a breast, despite the fact that they have been saved for five, ten, or even twenty years. Milk and honey. There are numerous allusions or scriptures that state that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were promised a land. The land is their heaven, as described by the Lord God as a land flowing with milk and honey. All of the riches, as well as the health and growth benefits of breastfeeding, will be found on the land that God promised them. It is a land of oil, olives, grapes, figs, wheat, barley, fish, and cattle, all of which are grown to provide health and growth to the children of Israel. A wife's breasts have a function as well. She nurtures her children as a mother. She serves a purpose to her spouse as a wife. Proverbs 5 verse 19 Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe, let her. Breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravish always with her love. According to the Bible, her breasts are for him and him alone, excluding her children. One of the reasons why husbands resort to pornography is that their wives refuse to share their marriage bed. Her breasts are to satisfy him, her husband, according to Proverbs 5 verse 19 in the Holy King James Bible. Hebrews 13 verse 4 Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. A husband and wife relationship is revered by God. Any relationship that isn't between a husband and wife seeks God's wrath and condemnation. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 2 Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. Marriage is to prevent sins of fornication and adultery. 
1 Corinthians 7 verse 5 Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency, even for the Lord. The sexless marriage brings Satan into your marriage. Song of Solomon 1 verse 13 A bundle of myrrh is my well-beloved unto me, he shall lie all night betwixt my breasts. For her spouse, the wife's breasts serve as a resting place. A location where you can find tranquility, love, and the feeling of being wanted. It is for his delight, as we saw in Proverbs. Again. We come to the conclusion that the majority of divorces in marriage are caused by Satan. And it is the result of the wife not providing excitement for her husband and honoring the marriage bed. Song of Solomon 4 verse 5 Thy two breasts are like two young roes that are twins, which feed among the lilies. Song of Solomon 7 verse 3 Thy two breasts are like two young roes that are twins. His poetry his song is to be of and to his wife. He is to honor and love her. Proverbs 31 verse 28 Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Song of Solomon 7 verse 7 This thy stature is like to a palm tree, and thy breast to clusters of grapes. Song of Solomon 7 verse 8 I said, I will go up to the palm tree. I will take hold of the boughs thereof, now also thy breasts shall be as clusters of the vine. And the smell of thy nose like apples. Her breasts are to be full to his enjoyment. The husband should be aware that his wife's breasts can be tender at times and should be treated gently or even left alone. We leave the realm of husband and wife and enter the world of fornication and adultery. Hebrews 13 verse 4 Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Everything a husband and wife do behind a closed bedroom door is between them and God, and God approves. But my husband wants to. Dear, that is the nature of man. Proverbs 5 verse 19 Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant. Ro, let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. A wife must recognize that her husband, going to work, has to face a world of boobs. Married and unmarried women try to expose or flaunt their breasts. They dress to make their boobs and butts as eye candy to the lust of the flesh and lust of the eyes. They want your husband to be looking at them. Nahum 2 verse 7, And Hazab shall be led away captive. She shall be brought up, and her maids shall lead her as with the voice of doves, tabering upon their breasts. For most women, a proper shirt would express, look at this. And the Bible says, Matthew 5 verse 28, But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Looking and wanting causes adultery. Wife give him your breasts. So he need not seek others and sin against you and God. Matthew 5 verse 28 But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her. Already in his heart. There are firm warnings, in the Bible, about adultery and fornication. They are sins and sins to avoid. Proverbs 5 verse 20 And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman? And embrace the bosom of a stranger? Hosea 2 verse 2 Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife. Neither am I her husband, let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. They advertise their bodies, they are the workers of Satan, and yes, even Christian women do the same. 2 Kings 9 verse 30 And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face, and tied her head, and looked out at a window. 
Proverbs 31 verse 30 Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord. She shall be praised. Next, we see, in the Bible, that breasts are a symbol of marriage. When Sarai gave Abram her maid Hagar, Genesis 16 verse 5, and Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee, I have given my maid into thy bosom, and when she saw that she had conceived. I was despised in her eyes, the Lord judge between me and thee. Abram and Hagar became married, thy bosom. Deuteronomy 13 verse 6 If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, the wife of thy bosom, Webster's 1828 Dictionary, 1. The breast of a human being and the parts adjacent. 2 Samuel 12 verse 3 But the poor man had nothing, save one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up, and it grew up together with him. And with his children it did eat of his own meat, and drank of his own cup, and lay in his bosom, and was unto him as a daughter. This is how Uriah treated his wife, Bathsheba, who lay in his bosom. 2 Samuel 12 verse 8 And I gave thee thy master's house, and thy master's wives into thy bosom. God speaking to King David. About wives into thy bosom. Micah 7 verse 5 Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that leath in thy bosom. The bosom is a dear special place reserved only for the few, the dear ones. John 1 verse 18 No man had seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. Heat. He hath declared him. 1 Kings 1 verse 2 Wherefore his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him. And let her lie in thy bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. It's possible that breast cancer is addressed in the Bible, or that it's discussed in the mastectomy, or just a passage. Most interesting in detail. Ezekiel 23 verse 34 Thou shalt even drink it and suck it out. And thou shalt break the shirts thereof, and pluck off thine own breasts, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. Because the position of the organ allowed for easy identification. Written accounts and pictures of breast cancer extend back to antiquity. The Edwin Smith Surgical Papyrus, which dates from 3000 to 2500 BC and is thought to have been written by Imhotep, an Egyptian physician architect, contains accurate tales of breast cancer. If the condition was cold to the touch, bulging, and spread all over the breast, it was considered incurable. It was Daniel's interpretation of the king's dream that the breast and arms of the image was the Medes and Persians. Daniel 2 verse 32 This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass. It was upon the breast of despair and worthlessness of a man and his sins, Luke 18 verse 13 and the publican. Standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God be merciful to me a sinner. The reaction to the death of Jesus Christ the people Luke 23 verse 48 and all the people that came together to that sight. Beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts, and returned. One must not or cannot forget. John 13 verse 25 He then lying on Jesus' breast saith unto him, Lord, who is it? John 21 verse 20 Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast. At supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? John 13 verse 23 Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples, whom Jesus loved. Egypt, type of the world, the sins with and the sins of idolatry we read. 
Ezekiel 23 verse 3 And they committed whoredoms in Egypt, they committed whoredoms in their youth, there were their breasts pressed, and there they bruised the teats of their virginity. Ezekiel 23 verse 21 Thus thou callest to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth, in bruising thy teats by the Egyptians for the paps of thy youth. Ezekiel 23 verse 8 Neither left she her whoredoms brought from Egypt, for in her youth they lay with her. And they bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredom upon her. The End Thank you for listening. Like, share, subscribe.